if you're following from the previous video, I showed you how to put a map marker in one location and then embed that map into our Google site. This video, I'm going to show you how to create a map with multiple marker points and even uh, hot zones so you can mark off areas of um, Google map and then embed that into our Google site. So let's get started. In a new browser tab, go to google.com forward slash maps forward slash D. This should take you to my maps where you can click the create a new map button. Here you'll give your map a title, something descriptive about all the map marker locations. Edit map title and description will pop up. I'm going to call this store locations and give it a description. Once you're done, click save. Each map can have several layers. You could identify different categories of these locations. I'm just going to call this our store locations and click save. In another video, I'm going to talk about this import where you can import data from a CSV file or a Google Sheet, even another Google Map KML file that exists. You could click here to add another layer, maybe repair depots, transformer stations, etc. These are just different layers that you might categorize your location. Any physical street address you really can type into the search bar at the top to add the location into your map. You can see the check mark box on SAS Tech stores shows that I'm editing on that map and I can type in that location and search for it. Then we can click the add to map link. Once added, we have several different options where we can change the color, edit the description and name of the point, add a picture, give directions, or even delete the marker point. I want to give this location a custom name and then I'll click save once I'm done completing. Great, now I'm going to add my second location by again searching for it in the search box. Here a number of locations pop up. I can keep typing till I narrow down to the one that I want. Then I'll add to map. I'll click the pencil icon so that I can give this place a name as well. Then click save to keep the changes. You can always drop the place marker or move it around within the map. I'm just going to add our third location to the map and give it a custom location as well. Click Save. Great, we have our custom map. Now we can switch between those locations just by clicking on them on the left hand sidebar. Now I'm going to show you how I add a place marker manually. I'm just going to zoom out of the map here. Then we can click the location button. Add marker. 
right here. And you can drop it wherever you want. And I'll give this location a name and description. Click save. Notice you can also add an a custom image or video to your map as well for each of these locations. You can also easily edit any of these locations just by clicking on the map marker points and then clicking on the pencil icon again to edit. Here I'll add the descriptions to each of these locations. You'll click save at the end of each description to save those changes. You can even mark out custom areas within your map. Here I'm going to show an area that I want to mark off as a beta zone. I'll zoom into the area of the map that I want to place the area in. And we'll click the draw line or shape. There are a number of different options we can add, driving routes, biking, and walking routes, but we'll select line or shape. Then you'll just select areas to each point that you want to mark off. Once you complete an area like this, You can then give it a name and even change the color of the shading once you have saved the name and description. It even gives you the measurement of area. Great, there's our selected area. You can see it in the beta testing area along with the color and shape. Now, let's add some driving directions. Just the same as drawing lines, we'll click Add a Driving Route. Now we'll click on the map to start tracing our route. I'm going to draw a line from Malville to our first location, Regina. Just select the marker point. It's given us great driving directions on the number 10. Next, I'm going to add driving directions from the Regina to the Saskatoon locations. So we'll select the add directions and click our first map marker point. And then we'll select our second map marker point. I double clicked here, so I'm just going to delete that last B location. I'll zoom back out. And we'll select the Saskatoon location. Great, there's awesome directions taking the number 11.
you can add driving directions just the same with all these other locations that we have marked out here. I'm going to do that now. After you've made your map, you want to share it onto your website. So when you're ready, click the share button at the top. Great, I have all the points the way that I want them to appear on our site. So I'll click the share link at the top. This sets the permission for the map on our website. Notice I have this set to private, only you can access. We need to click this change link to set this access so that everybody else in the world can see our map in our public website. Anyone with the link is sufficient enough, though you might want to choose public on the web if you want this searchable. Notice here the access is anyone, no one needs to sign in and they can view. But we could change that to edit if it was an emergency map. Then you'll want to click save to save those permission changes. Now we'll click done so that this map is public on the web and we won't get a permission error when we view this not signed into our Google account. Now we could preview our map to take a look at how this is going to display on our website before we publish it into the page. You'll notice here I'll view it in full screen mode and we can select any of these locations that we marked out and you can clearly see the name description of each of those locations and jump to them. It's a really handy feature to be able to create and store your maps. Now we want to embed this map into our Google site. So you'll navigate to your Google site and click the pencil icon to bring up the editor mode and navigate to the page that you want to edit or embed this map location to. I have this insert Google map page and I'm going to put it below where we put our single map marker point. Here's where I want to put that map. Under Google Embeds, you'll see Map. Click that, just as we created our single map marker point. Here, you'll notice the My Maps. This brings up the maps that you have stored in your Google My Maps. We'll select our store locations. Check mark it and click Select, then resize the map to how you want it to appear on your website. Don't worry, this will zoom into our all our map marker points once we've saved and published the page. Click Publish, then Let's check out our map live on the website to see how this will appear.
I just want to point out this uniform style or this paintbrush that you'll see in the map markers. Here you can customize how you want each of those map markers to appear if you want the names or the descriptions for the map marker points. I'll choose name. And you can also choose one of these other options like sequence of numbers where it'll put a number at each location or give individual styles where you can then change each map marker color. Custom to however you want. Or a style by the data column where it'll give random colors where you can then assign those values a color. So there are a lot of options to marking out your Google Map marker points. Thanks for watching and I hope this video was helpful. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And check out the next videos in the Google Sites series.